Hi everyone, this is Luca. Welcome to a new research paper summary by martechpost.com. Today we are going to talk about a paper related to the automatic diagnosis of schizophrenia using EEG signals and CNN-LSTM models. Schizophrenia is a mental disorder where the function of some brain regions is out of balance, leading to the lack of coordination between thoughts, actions and emotions. According to the World Health Organization, about 21 million people suffer from this mental disorder worldwide. On average, males start to get affected by schizophrenia at 18 years old, while females at 25 years old. And overall, the disorder is prevalent among males. Generally, neuroimaging methods are techniques used to analyze the brain. In particular, there exist two categories of neuroimaging methods. Structural imaging provides information about the structure of the brain, while functional imaging about the brain activity. Thanks to EEG, we can record the electrical activity of the brain from the surface of the head with a high temporal resolution. As we will see later, this is essential for the diagnosis of schizophrenia. The researchers of this paper used the dataset of the Institute of Psychiatry and Neurology in Warsaw, Poland. This dataset includes the recorded EEG signals from 40 male and female patients affected by schizophrenia and 40 healthy people. The age of the monitored people spans between 23 and 32 years old. For each subject, the dataset includes 15 minutes of EEG data recorded during a nice closed resting state condition. These data were acquired with a sampling frequency of 250 Hz, using the 19 channels that you can see in the figure on the right. Moreover, the signals of each channel were filtered in the following physiological frequency bands delta, theta, alpha, beta and gamma. Thanks to the high temporal resolution of EEG signals, their analysis provides unique information about the interactions between different frequency bands. It has been shown that such interactions are altered in schizophrenia. Indeed, in these figures, you can see that there are significant differences in many channels between the brain signals of a patient affected by schizophrenia and the ones of a healthy person. The researchers of the paper we are analyzing decided to implement both conventional machine learning models and deep learning solution, comparing their recognition rate over EEG signals. In particular, among the conventional machine learning models, they consider support vector machines, key nearest neighbor and decision trees. On the other hand, they train different types of neural networks, a convolutional network, a recurrent one based on LSTM cells, and a combination of them. The CNN-LSTM model achieved the best recognition rate, with an accuracy equal to 99.25%. This score has been obtained with a five-fold cross-validation evaluation. But let's see now how was implemented such a model. Each EEG signal has been divided into segmentation windows of 25 seconds without any overlapping. Input data are given to a couple of convolutional layers. Hence, after the dropout, the pooling and the flatten layers, data flow into an LSTM layer that includes 100 recurrent cells. Finally, the researchers added three dense layers. The last layer employs the sigmoid activation function for the final classification. To conclude, we should consider some of the limitations of this paper. First of all, the available EEG datasets, like the one used in this study, consist of a very limited number of cases that can be used to train and evaluate the machine learning model. Moreover, the dataset in this research has been used only to diagnose schizophrenia and not to detect the severity of the disorder. Finally, this dataset cannot be used for the early detection of the schizophrenia disorder, a capability that will make the system useful in real-world scenarios. Indeed, the dataset samples includes only cases of patients or of healthy people, not the ones related to people that are going to face the mental disorder. 
So, we have talked about how we could use EEG signals to analyze the brain activity of people affected by schizophrenia. And I hope that this topic was interesting for you. Leave a like on this video and see you in the next research paper summary by martechpost.com.